Hey everybody, Peterville 75 with Midnight to Ferocious Sissy coming to you from the Swamp Pit. <clears throat> Just wanted to make a special video to wish my mate from Canada, Aaron Newland, a very, very, very happy birthday. Aaron, you're a good, you're a good friend, mate. Very, very happy that I got to become friends with you on this YouTube community. The modeling community. I mean, your videos capture my attention from start to finish, whether it's overlords, morons, <laughs> whatever it may be. One of your builds, you know, painting a figure, you know, the, the sincerity and the history behind everything you do. That's, uh, uh, that's something I love about your videos, the history that you put behind all your videos. Everything you do has a history behind it. That's inspired me myself to get into history more myself. So to that sir, I appreciate that and I thank you for for taking that from your videos. Um, as we talked before mate, it's all yours bro. Happy birthday. We talked about it before coming your way brother I know Cohen said you could use his however long you wanted but I am partial to Badger now and I myself personally don't like this it's a single action siphon fed airbrush you can make it a gravity fed airbrush by the Keller cup that comes with it just hooks into the hooks into the where the siphon the, pulls the paint up to the needle then you can use the Keller cup you don't have to use the the bottles that come with it it comes with two bottles like this that's a spare bottle right there this is the actual bottle that comes that you put the put in to pull the paint up What's nice is if you use Model Masters, Model Masters paint, you can just take the take the siphon feed out, stick that right in the Model Masters jar, screw it on, and you're good to go. Keller, after you're done clean, Keller clean out, boom, into another Keller. So that makes it really nice if you want to use it as the siphon bed. Comes with a little wrench. It comes with a little Allen wrench. I don't know if you can see that. That is to, if you can see right there, there's a little set screw. You turn that when you clean it. You turn it a tiny little turn. Pull down on it after you after you unscrew the, the nozzle. The needle pulls out of it. Well, here, I'll do it just to show you. You unscrew the needle or the nozzle. The needle comes out that you can clean the needle. When you're done, you just put the needle, put the needle back up through. Screw the nozzle back, push it all the way up that it's tight. Screw the nozzle back on. Set your set screw again. Tight. Boom. Done. The way you control your flow pattern is by turning this nozzle the further out the further you turn it the wider the spray pattern the further back you tighten it the smaller the spray pattern this is a number three needle in it already it comes with the number three or one and the number five needle as well number five is for way big body like broad coverage like bodies you know ships big planes but I find number three can do the same thing just as good so that's that's what I use all the time the number three I mean I haven't used a number one or a number five yet so that, that like I said that's up to you mate whatever you want to whatever you want to use because it's yours brother yours to keep you get a little yeah, get a little airbrush holder with it screw it onto wherever you want 
Yeah. Your airbrush shit tint like that. So. That's it, mate. It also comes with the hose that I have over yonder that I need to put into the into the box, but coming your way, mate. So stay tuned. It'll be there. Hopefully, two, three, three weeks, month tops. So my my gift to you, bro, for your birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks for being such a good friend. And something else that I wanted to bring to everybody's attention is Aaron actually owns a figure company. It is Fugitive, F-U-G-I-T-I-V-E, Miniatures, M-I-N-A-T-U-R-E-S. The website is www.fugitive-miniatures.com. You need you may need to make sure you check this site out if you're a if you're a figures figures person. The way the way I took it from looking at his website, they're all resin resin cast figures of various sizes. The smallest is 54 millimeters, and the biggest is 200 millimeters. Genres include sci-fi, fantasy, medieval, Renaissance, and military. So. Just looking at his site here, I have it up here online. There's a Ghost of the Taiko, that's a Japanese figure. A Fantasy and Dreams High Fantasy figure, which is... An Elvish Thief. There is a Gunsmoke Ridge figure from the Wild Wild West. And there's a... Dreams of Futures Past, historical figures, a World War II Soviet sniper. The prices range anywhere from $85 to $100, $125, and that price includes shipping world or er, standard shipping worldwide. So make sure you check out fugitiveminiatures.com. Fugitive-miniatures.com. So. <clears throat> Aaron, once again, happy birthday, mate. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was you that asked how big of a Penn State freak I was, being that I'm an alumni from Penn State. I'm not sure, but I think it may have been you. I just wanted to show you how big of a Penn State freak I am. My windbreaker, Penn State. My sweatshirt, Penn State. My shirt. Penn State, clean down to, let me get this off here, Penn State Nittany Lions, brother, tattoo, so, yeah buddy, we are, so, alright, eight and a half minutes of waffle, that's long enough for me, so, Aaron again, mate. Happy birthday, chap. So glad to be your friend. I respect and appreciate your friendship. And look forward to many, many more cool conversations, builds, and funny, funny videos from you in the near future. So, take care, mate. Happy birthday. Hope the family's well. Tell everybody I said hello from PA. And I'll catch you in the next video.